All right, so the number one question I got from our last video was how you set up these 5G helium miners. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it took me a while and I made some mistakes, but I learned along the way. So I'll be walking you through exactly step-by-step step how you guys can set up your own 5G helium miner the right way. Now, I strongly urge you guys, if you didn't watch my previous video, to make sure to do so because I go over a lot of useful information that you guys should know. Also, I finally got my miner all set up and I'm happy to say I'm earning mobile tokens. Finally, I'm earning close to 36,000 a day, which I'm super happy about. But before we get into the setup process, I want to quickly go over some updates with Helium 5G that you guys should know of. Also, make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe because I'll be posting more videos about this topic. So if you guys want to be the first to know, all you have to do is subscribe. First off, if we take a look at the amount of new 5G miners going online, we aren't slowing down at all. We're having at least 50 to 100 new miners going active every single day. Now, if you're still on the edge of buying one of these miners, I still think we're super early in the process. So if you guys haven't gotten one already, I'd recommend getting one as soon as possible. If you guys want to get the exact one that I got, I'll put a link to it down below. You guys can also get $25 off if you use the promo code FA25. And I think they have the fastest shipping times in the game. I got mine like in two days. Now, now, the other thing I want to talk about is the Genesis phase. Now, if you don't know what the Genesis phase is, it's basically where we'll be earning the most of these mobile tokens. Close to 100 million tokens are being distributed every single day to miners. Now, currently at the time of this recording, the Genesis phase ends in about 38 days. Now, I know that's not a lot of time, especially if you're just getting your miners now or you still have to order yours, but I might have some good news for you guys. Now, I was scrolling through the Helium Discord server and some people were talking about how the Genesis phase might be extended. Now, that's all ultimately up to the Helium team and how long they need, but if it does get extended, that's actually very good news for us because now we'll have more time to earn more mobile tokens. But that's just some of the news I wanted to share with you guys. You guys came here for the setup process, so let's get into it. All right, if you guys haven't gotten the Helium 5G mine already, make sure to get that as soon as possible. Now for this setup, I'll put the link to the exact miner and everything I have down below. So if you guys wanna follow along, you guys can just use the link down below and get that one from there. All right, a couple things we need before we start our Helium. 5g installation so first we're gonna need three ethernet cables one really long one preferably um i don't have it here but make sure you have a really long one this is what you call a j pipe i got this on amazon for i think like $20. I'll put the link to this one down below as well. Um, a screwdriver, uh, two phones. So I have one here and then the one I'm using to record and access to your internet router. Now, I know that's a lot, but trust me, it'll all make sense. All right. So once you get your Helium 5G setup shipped to you, this is what it's going to look like. Ultimately, this is going to be your antenna and then this is going to be your hotspot. Now for the antenna, we can move this over because we don't need this right now. Um, the hotspot is what we're going to worry about. This is the first installation step. This is what connects to your router so let's go set this up now i already have my hotspot set up you can just imagine these wires aren't there because this is essentially what's going to come with it's just going to be a hotspot and antenna now these two are going to be separate um you just screw this one in it was very simple and then you just put this on a table and leave this part close up the biggest thing is this needs to be close to your router as you can see my router is right there it's ethernet length um the only other thing is do not plug in the the outlet or hit this power button yet um just leave this as it is just bring this closer over to your router and just leave it at this and i'm going to take you tell you the next steps right now all right so the first thing you're going to do is just imagine these wires aren't there just the white one so the white one is connected into the as you can see the w a n slot so you're going to take one of your ethernet cables plug one end into there and you're going to take that and plug the other end into your internet router as you can see white to white it goes straight into my router and then after that set up you're going to plug in your outlet so this is the you know the outlet that comes with the this box as well is going straight into the outlet over there um plug these two in but don't hit the power button just yet um a couple of these lights just start to come on but whatever you do do not hit the power button just have this one go into your router and have this one go into the outlet all right, so once you have that all set up, you're going to head over to your phone and go straight to the Helium app. Now, if you don't have the Helium app downloaded, you can download it from the App Store. It's super simple, but this is essentially what the app will look like. The first thing you need to do is go up here and click the plus icon. And this is where you're going to choose your hotspot. Now, the one I have is the Freedom Fi Gateway. Um, it all depends on which one you guys get, but if you're following along with me, it's the Freedom Fi Gateway. You go over here, and then you're going to click the first link over here. Now, this is basically just going to onboard um, that... Uh, uh, hotspot. 
So basically just go through these steps. Um, I can't do this because I already have mine onboarded, but you're going to take, um, you're going to have to scan the back of this hotspot. There's going to be a QR code at the bottom of it. You're going to scan that and you're just going to go through the steps. I think there's like maybe two or three steps. Now the step that comes right after this one is where it's going to ask you to, um, hit the power button. So until now you shouldn't have touched the power button. So right after this step, it'll tell you to press the power button. So you'll press the power button just once. It'll indicate it on the phone. So you press it just once and then you'll hit next on your phone. Now the next step after this, it'll ask you for your location. It should automatically pre populate. If it doesn't just fill in your address. Address. Um, it'll also ask you for your antenna DBI. Um, I think standard is 1.2. If you're using the one that comes with this, you can just leave it blank. And then as for the height, you can also leave that blank. But if it doesn't let you leave it blank, you can just put, um, I think I put three for mine. And then in the final step of this process, you're going to confirm this hotspot to your location. Um, it's a $10 fee. If you change it, the first time it's free. So it's already prepaid. You're just going to hit register and then you should be set to go. Now, once that's done, it'll take a second for you to set up your wallet. But till then, you can go back into the Helium app. Um, you can hit these two arrows at the bottom over here and hover over to hotspot transactions and over here you'll see your new hotspot um, over here so yours will have a different name it'll probably say pending or update hotspot but once it's completely done it'll say hotspot added to blockchain and that's how you know your hotspot is completely confirmed and with that you've successfully set up your helium hotspot this should be all set to go as long as it says added to blockchain so your hotspot's all set now it's time to head over to the antenna all right so as i mentioned this is basically your antenna this big beastly thing it'll come with the antenna itself and it also come with this black receiver box now there's two antenna cables this is where we're going to plug it in but basically you should have these two things so the first thing you're going to do is flip this over um now i already opened this but basically these are where the screws are you need to open this so this is where your screwdriver comes in so it's hard to do this over here but basically oh, you just open this up i already have mine open but they're a little tight so you might have to put some force into it but it's because it's like a waterproof type of thing but you unscrew this and then the flap should open up and that is where your ethernet cable goes which i'll talk to in a minute but basically just get this open first all right so i've went ahead and already plugged in the ethernet cable and screwed up the things over here as you can see everything is sealed and tight but once uh you plug in the ethernet cable just one uh into one over here you should see lights start to pop up and then there's a light inside that should pop up as well but basically you're gonna have the one ethernet cable so as i mentioned you need three so one already went in from the hotspot all the way into the router and now you have two more so one is going to take go from in here so this is from the antenna it's going to go into this black receiver box now it's going to feed right into the poe tab this one over here as you can see the blue one is going from here to over here and then you're going to take your other ethernet cable and plug it into the lan line or the landline and take that and go all the way to your hotspot and plug it in into the second tab which is as you can see enb1 now a couple things to know is make sure your lights turn on now i had one previously and for some reason my lights never turned on i think it was a faulty antenna so make sure your lights are turned on and make sure the the, the ethernet cable that goes into your antenna is a long one i'm using a short one here for an example but um for you make sure it's a longer one because this essentially is going to be um going up on your roof so try to get a longer one i might put a link in my bio to um the long ethernet cable i use as well but just remember those two things the light and the long ethernet cable all right so once everything is all connected and everything should be good to go you're going to head over to your laptop or you can even do this on your phone you're going to head over to a website called the freedomfy-gateway.local now the thing is you need to be on the same uh, wi-fi connection as your router um because that's basically what's connecting the both of them so but if you see everything green over here you know you should be good to go um if you see connected it's good just make sure your minor name is the same as um what you saw on your helium app uh the one that was updated to the blockchain um you're just going to go over here and you're going to scroll down and you're going to hit um update gateway now this will basically just let any updates that have run through so you're basically running on the newest framework um it should take a few seconds for the update but once it's going through just scroll back up and you're going to head over to radio dashboard all right so a couple things when you're on the radio dashboard the first thing is make sure you have a dashboard um i know for mine uh my, i didn't have one because my thing was faulty but make sure you have a radio dashboard it should should ultimately be there as soon as um, you set up your antenna um, if it's not there that means something is wrong with the whole setup so make sure you have a radio dashboard now this is what mine looks like it's all green but yours won't look like this I'll put up pictures as I go through this of what yours will look like but basically um, if your radio dashboard is there your GPS status should either say locked or trying um, it takes about like 
I would say for me, it took like 15 minutes for it to be locked. So just give it time. But eventually yours should say that. And in your core status, it should either say connected or none. Um, either are okay. But for spectrum access and on air, for you guys, it should say spectrum access trying or none. And on air should be off because nothing is registered yet. Um, so those two things should be there. Um, just make sure that's kind of what the gist of yours looks like. Now, because your guys' will either say trying or none and off, we need to essentially get it to say success and okay like it does on mine. And the only way for you guys to do that, if you scroll down and register your radio. Now, I've already registered mine, but basically, you guys are going to need to register your radio in order to get these green. Now, this part gets a little tricky because essentially, you're now going to need to take your antenna up to your roof because you need to take a couple pictures of it in order for you to register your thing. So... Now, I know I mentioned a roof, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a roof as long as it's something elevated because I've had people who've installed these miners on their porch or their balcony or like the side of their house or anything as long as it's somewhere elevated and their miners got approved. So I don't want you guys to think, oh, I don't have access to a roof, so I can't install this. You should be fine as long as it's somewhere elevated. So what I suggest is um, unplug this because everything seems to be looking good. If it does, then you're good to unplug it. Unplug this and then take your antenna up there um, so you could take these pictures you can also do a balcony and garage whatever it is just as long as it's somewhere elevated now this is where the j pipe comes in now this is basically where you're gonna um, attach this to your roof or the side of your house or wherever you're gonna install this um, you're gonna drill holes into that and then this part um, fits in into here there's another piece that came with the box i don't have that right now it's in my other room but basically it sits flush with this and then um it should be all attached into one thing i'll put pictures up over here of some examples of what the antenna looks like on a j pipe now for demonstrator purposes i'm not going to install mine because that would just take so long um i'll do that uh, another time off video but but basically let's say you guys installed yours on top of your roof um basically you just installed this right because we unplugged this what you're going to do now is because um because let's say you guys are you should have used a longer ethernet cable you're going to take this ethernet cable that's plugged into your poe and maybe you're going to run this through your uh, window or maybe some crack you have and you're going to run it all the way up to your roof and you're going to plug this into the antenna where it's installed um and you're just going to screw this shut because um no water can leak in um and basically that should be all set to go but then you also need to take a couple pictures while you're up there to make sure your antenna gets verified now this is where that second phone comes in handy because we're going to need to take pictures of things that display on this phone um, just so we can send it for approval and get this antenna approved. So the first picture we'll need is the azimuth angle. Now this is the website they require us to do this on so we can get this fully approved. I'll put the link to this one down below, but basically I think it just measures like the magnetic field or something. Um, the big thing is you need to be on the compass. Um, you can just use, as I mentioned, you need another phone to do this so you could take a picture of this. But basically you're just going to put this on top of your antenna and then you're going to take a picture just like this. Um, take a couple just in case because you don't want to go back up there. All right, so the second picture you need to take is the elevation or the level of the antenna. So if you have an iPhone, you can just go to the measure app you can do this if you have android i think the app is clintometer or something like that but basically you're gonna do the same thing put this on top of your antenna i'll put pictures of exactly how it's supposed to look um over here but you're just gonna take a picture of it like this um take a couple again just so you don't have to do this again but as long as people uh the people can see that this is the level of the antenna all right now that you have pictures of the azimuth angle and the elevation those are all the pictures you need while you're on top of the roof now you can come back down and you take a couple more pictures now this, these pictures are basically just to show how high the antenna is from the ground. I'll put some examples up over here, but basically just to show how far high it is from the ground. But once you have all those pictures, you're pretty much almost done. You just need to do one last step, and I'll be showing you how to do that right now on the computer. All right, you're going to head back over to the FreedomFi Gateway local website, the, the radio dashboard that we were just on. You're going to scroll back down, and for you guys, it'll say register radio. You're going to hit register radio. It'll ask for your address. You're going to put your address in one more time, and then it's going to ask for those pictures you took just input those pictures and then it's also going to ask um the height of how high the antenna is for me mine was installed on a one-story home so for me it was about 15 feet but i would say it takes about two to three business days for them to accept it you'll get an email saying that you're accepted and your uh, miner is online if everything went according to plan and then your spectrum access and you're on air so switch to success and on meaning everything is good to go and your miner is all set and you're going to be earning mobile tokens you can also double check if everything is good to go if you head over to the helium explorer website over here you can just type in your um helium 
minor name. Um, this is what was shown on your Helium app. So this is what mine is. And you can, you guys should have the 5G statistics tab over here, meaning your 5G is online. Um, your speed test should be green and then your radio should be green, meaning everything is good to go. And your miner is like 100% good to go. And then you can also see the amount of mobile tokens you're earning. If you go over here to this purple tab, um, if you click right over here, this was this is basically going to show all your um, coins in your wallet. If you scroll down over here, you should see your mobile token over here and how much mobile token you have. And you can also download the black Helium app. That's what I use to see how much mobile token I have because on that app, it actually shows you um, all the, the mobile tokens you've been earning. But that's basically the setup process. Like I said, it's not too difficult. And if it is, don't worry because the rewards definitely outweigh all that work. Now, as I mentioned, I've been online for a couple days now and I'm consistently earning about 36,000 mobile tokens per day. And with a price of about 0 0.004 cents, which is still an estimate, is coming out to about $108 every single day that I'm making. Now, I am looking to get about two more miners. I might order them later today or maybe tomorrow just so I can maximize on my earnings. And remember, if you still haven't got one of yours or you want another one, I'll put the link to the exact one I got down below. And remember, you guys can get $25 off if you use a promo code. But let me know if you guys have any questions about the setup process or anything in general. I'll try to answer as much as I can. So just leave them down below. Also, let me know what other content you guys would like to see around 5G helium mining. But as always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in next week's video. Peace.